guys. So this week, our read aloud is going to be a book called My Name is Yoon by Helen Rickorvitz and pictures by Gabby Swetikwaska. And it's about a girl named Yoon and she's from Korea and it's, it's a kind of cute story and it tells you about how she kind of finds her place in this new country, all right? So let's get started. My name is Yoon. I came here from Korea, a country far away. It was no long after we settled in that my father called me to his side. Soon you will go to your new school. You must learn to print your name in English, he said. Here, this is how it looks. Y-O-O-N. I wrinkled my nose. I don't like Yoon. Lines, circles, each standing alone. My name looks happy in Korean, I said. The symbols dance together. And in Korean, my name means shining wisdom. I like the Korean way better. Well, you must learn to write it this way. Remember, even when you write in English, it still means shining wisdom. And that is how you say Yoon in Korean. I did not want to learn the new way. I wanted to go back home to Korea. I did not like America. Everything was different here. But my father handed me a pencil and his eyes said, do as I say. He showed me how to print every letter in the English alphabet. So I practiced and my father was very pleased. Look, he called to my mother. See how well our little Yoon does? Yes, she says. She will be a wonderful student. And I wrinkled my nose. My first day at school, I sat quietly, quietly at my desk while the teacher talked about cat. She wrote C-A-T on the chalkboard and she read a story about cat. I don't know what her words meant, but I knew what the pictures said. She sang a song about cat. I was a, it was a pretty song and I tried to sing the words too. Later she gave me a paper with my name on it. Name, Yoon, she said, and she pointed to the empty lines underneath. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote cat instead. I wrote cat on every single line. Cat, cat, cat. I wanted to be cat. I wanted to hide in a corner. My mother would find me and cuddle me close to me. I would close my eyes and meow quietly. The teacher looked at my paper. She shook her head and frowned. So you are cat? She asked. The ponytail girl sitting behind me giggled. After school, I said to my father, we should go back to Korea. It is better there. Do not talk like that, he said. America is your home now. I sat by the window and watched a little robin hop, hop in the yard. He is all alone too, I thought. He has no friends. No one likes him. Then I had a very good idea. If I draw a picture for the teacher, then maybe she will like me. It was the best bird I had ever drawn. Look, father, I said proudly. Oh, this makes me happy, he said. Now do this. And he showed me how to print bird underneath the picture. B-I-R-D. The next day at school, the teacher handed me another Yoon paper to print. But, it, but I did not want to print Yoon. I wrote bird instead. I wrote bird on every line. I wanted to be bird. I wanted to fly, fly back to Korea. I would fly to my nest and I would tuck my head under my little brown wing. The teacher looked at my paper. Again, she shook her head. So you are bird? She asked. Then I showed her my special robin drawing. I patted my red dress and then I patted the red robin. I lowered my head and peeked up at her and the teacher smiled. 
How was school today, my daughter? My mother asked. I think the teacher likes me a little, I said. Well, that's good, my mother said. Yes, but at my school in Korea, I was my teacher's favorite. I had many friends. Here, I am all alone. You must be patient with everyone, including yourself, my mother said. You will find a student and you will make many new friends here. The next day at recess, I stood near the fence by myself. I watched the ponytail girl sitting on the swing. She watched me too. Suddenly she jumped off the swing and ran over to me. She had a, back, a package in her hand. The wrapper said cupcake. C-U-P-C-A-K-E. She opened it and gave me one. She giggled, I giggled too. When we were back in school, the teacher gave us more printed papers. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote Cupcake instead. I wanted to be Cupcake. The children who clapped their hands when they saw me, they would be excited. Cupcake, they would say, here is Cupcake. The teacher looked at my paper and today, you are Cupcake? She said, she smiled a little bit bigger. Her eyes said, I like this girl, Yoon. After school, I took my mother about, I, I told my mother about my ponytail friend. I sang a new song for my father and I sang in English. You make us so proud, little Yoon, my mother said. Maybe America will be a good home, I thought. Maybe different is good too. How do you think that her teacher's eyes looked like when she said, her eyes said I looked like, looked like she said, I like this girl Yoon. How do you think she looked? Do you think she looked like, or you think she was more on the lines of, like, I like this girl. She's funny. I don't know, we'll see. The next day at school, I could barely wait to print. And this time I wrote Yoon on every line. When my teacher looked at my paper, she gave me a big hug. Ah, you are Yoon, she said. <coughs> yes, I am Yoon. I write my name in English now. It still means shining wisdom. And that's the end of our book. So what did you learn from Yoon? She may have come from somewhere different, but I want you to think about what was the theme of this book? Why did she keep writing her name was something else? At the end, why do you think she figured out that, eh, maybe I can write my name on this piece of paper. So I want you to think about that and talk to somebody about it. Maybe tell mom, tell dad, Tell somebody, in your brother, sister, grandma, somebody in your family, tell them what Yoon taught you today. Have a good day. I will see you next week. And be safe. Bye.